Hey guys, Eric here. Today I want to talk about one of the most important exercises we can do for functional health and that is the deadlift. But right off the bat, I want to make a very clear distinction. We're not doing a strongman or a power deadlift. We're doing a functional deadlift. In power lifting, you might be picking up some really serious weight off the ground. The posture and the mechanics are different for that lift than what we're going to be going over. The purpose of our deadlift is going to be to create more midline stability, which is basically the idea of me being able to hold my back in a straight, strong position as well as posterior chain functionality, which basically just means the back of my body is moving in the range of motion that it's supposed to and that it can stay strong to protect and keep the spine healthy. So the first thing I want to do to get in position is bring my feet about armpits width apart and I'm going to pull my ankles out gently to feel like I'm corkscrewing my feet in the ground. That's our rooting mechanism and that's going to be important. The next thing is to get the spine straight. So looking at the horizon line, I'm going to pull my chin in a little bit to straighten my neck and you'll notice that lifts my chest. That's a good thing, except for I don't want to lift my chest too much. So I have to pull my ribs down by gently tucking my tailbone. Now my spine is in neutral alignment. In order to armor this, I'm going to take this inhale into my abdomen and pressurize things, pulling my navel in and keeping some tension there. Now, from there, I'll be bending my knees and sitting back towards my heels as my hands drop in front of me. Obviously right now I'm not holding on to any weights because we're just talking about the alignment and mechanics at this point. Then to come up, I press in my heels and without changing the shape in my spine, I come back to my top position or a hip snap, back into that tailbone tuck. When I have weights in my hands, they are going to be encouraging the shoulders forward. Once the shoulders start to round, the back will start to become compromised as well. And this is where you'll lose your functionality or maybe even increase the possibility of injury. So to resist the weights pulling my shoulders forward, I'm going to draw my shoulder blades back just a little bit and pack my shoulders down to keep my lats engaged. And then corkscrew the feet down, fold belly towards the thighs, and drop the hands to whatever degree I can keep my back straight and then come back up driving through the heels. Only use weights that you feel like you can control. Once again, this is not a strong man deadlift. This is me trying to train my spine to stay straight in the back of my body to have its full range of motion back. So when I'm going down, if I feel my back rounding, my weight's too heavy. Find something to work with, seal the belly and strengthen the spine at the top. <sighs> Pressurize the abs on the way down, sit back in your heels, only go as far as you can keep that spine straight, <sighs> and then back up. The, number, the, two num the two biggest mistakes I see is on the way down, people try to look up to stabilize the shoulders. Might mean your weight's too heavy. Keep your chin tucked, your eyes are gonna go down with you. And the other thing I see a lot are the knees bending forward like a squat. This takes the load out of the posterior chain where I want it. So in other words, when I go down, my knees should be in the same spot that they were as I sit back towards my heels. <sighs> when you're going down, if you feel like you're getting ready to fall backwards, you're probably doing it right. We're not wearing a weight belt because we want to strengthen the core muscles around the lumbar spine. And if we concentrate on keeping that spine straight and having the right weight, that's exactly what we'll be doing. Please remember, this is not an exercise to see how strong you are and how much you can lift. It's an exercise designed to test the midline stability and the lengthening and functionality of the back of your body.